हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन आई एम हियर ललित कुमार पी भैया टू टीच यू डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट नंबर टू एंड द टूडेज टॉपिक इज द झेट ट्रांसफॉर्म विच इज अ वेरी मैथमेटिकल पार्ट एंड दिस झेट ट्रांसफॉर्म इज वेरी इसेंशियल फॉर डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग एज ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन the ir filter fir filters etc the filter structure can be designed using only the jet transform and you are already aware with the jet transform because you have studied in math 1 math 2 etc uh, this jet transform but even then as far as this dsp is concerned this jet transform is also important and it is one of the topic of your syllabus jet transform and inverse jet transform let us go ahead for this jet transform this is the quote of the day which i put here this is from the laplace because after the laplace there is a relation between jet transform also the equation for the jet transform or a definition of the jet transform is given as x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power minus n this is the general equation and definition of the z transform and it is more convenient to use this is the definition so we are having the different types of transform one we use the laplace transform in discrete time signals similarly we use the fourier transform in frequency domain similarly we use the z transform in frequency domain in case of the uh, digital signal processing and signals and system very it plays the important role in filters also then <coughs> the dtft discrete time fourier transform is given by this equation x of e to the power g omega is equal to n is equal to minus infinity to infinity in summation this is x of n into e to the power minus j omega n this is the discrete time fourier transform while this is the z transform z is a complex variable that can be represented as z is equal to r into e to the power j omega always remember this in z transform this z represents a complex variable that is equal to r into e to the power j omega r is the real real part and e to the, uh, r is the magnitude and e to the power j omega is the complex variable substituting z is equal to e to the power j omega will reduce the z trans transform to dtft so z transform can be converted into discrete time fourier transform by putting z is equal to e to the power minus j omega sometimes the question may be asked what is the relation between dtft and z terms z transform then you have to mention this at z is equal to e to the power j omega it will reduces to the discrete time fourier transform okay then this is one of the important z transform and the relation between this df dtft the z transform is a function of the complex z variable already we have seen and convenient to describe on the complex z plane if we plot z is equal to e to the power j omega for omega is equal to 0 to 2 pi why it is taken as 0 to 2 pi because it represents a complete cycle so frequency omega is taken as 0 to 2 pi we get the unit circle here you can see this plane is called as a z plane this is the magnitude of z is equal to 1 that r is equal to 1 this is called as magnitude of z is equal to 1 and we draw the unit circle here while this is the frequency on each point on the unit circle will have a certain frequency which is represented by this omega okay and here this side represents the uh, dtft x of e to the power j omega and this is omega along um, frequency circle so this represents the simple discrete time fourier transform and this represents the z transform so z transform is always represented in this z plane along with this unit circle and dtft is represented in this plane so this is about the relation between the z transform and dtft now we will see how the z transform converges 
DTFT does not always converge. This is the equation of the DTFT. X of e to the power j omega is equal to n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e to the power minus j omega n. Infinite sum not always finite if x of n no absolute summable. Agar x of n pura summable nahi hai, to this transform is not converges. x of n is, for example, x of n is equal to a to the power u of n for magnitude of a is greater than 1 does not have DTFT because this is not a finite, this is infinite. Hence, this does not have the DTFT. Complex variable z can be written as r into e to the power, we have already seen z is equal to r into e to the power j omega, this is complex variable. So, the z transform becomes, you can put here z is equal to r into e to the power j omega in, in the definition of the z transform, n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n in place of z, it is r into e to the power minus j omega to the power minus n. So, we will get here this equation and finally, dtft x of n multiplied with exponential sequence r to the power minus n. You can see n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n r to the power of minus n and this is summable if it is less than infinite. So, this is the convergence of the z transform and this shows the region of, con this is region of conversion which we called as a ROC because in z transform it is very important that the given function whether z transform converges or not that we have to we have to show okay and this can be shown with the help of this circle one is important unit circle whether the values of x of z lies inside the unit circle or outside the circle or in both so that indicates the convergences of the z transform, whether z transform is convergences or not. Convergence means whether the x of z is finite or infinite and having a particular limit or not. The set of values of z for which the z transform converges. Each value of z r represents circle of radius r and the reason of convergence is made of circles like this. This is shown here three circles, one, two, three. This is shows the reason of convergence. So, uh, we can have this many of the examples which indicates the region of convergence. If it converges, then DTFT exists and if not converges, DTFT of the z, any z transform does not exist. <coughs> and in z transform, we have the left sided as well as the right sided sequences according to the z to the power minus n. If n is positive, the negative sequence will be there. If n is negative, the positive sequence will be there. So, both this is z transform may be a both side, both sided sequence depending upon the values of the n, whether these are positive or negative. So, <clears throat> with the help of this, we can determine the uh, z transform, whether it is a left hand sided sequence or right hand sided sequence or both. The, for example, here, this x uh, inside the ROC series converges to x of z is equal to n is equal to minus infinity to infinity a z to the power minus 1 to the power n is given by this equation that is z is equal to z minus a. So, this circle is of a. So, this and this is the circle of unity. So, this values of z are lying outside this a always. So, it does not converge. So, region region is outside the circle of radius a in the ROC, right sided sequence, ROC extends outside the circle. This is outside circle means it is a right sided sequence and inside the circle means it is a left sided sequence. So, this is the convergence and example of the z transform and these are the uh, some examples which we will see in the next slide, next video. Thank you very much for carefully listening and grasping this Z transform concept. Thank you very much.